Hello everyone, welcome to Finance by Avisha and Apatha. In today's video, we will see volumes. Volume play a very important role in technical analysis as it helps us to confirm trends and pattern. Consider volumes as a means to gain insights into how participants receive the market. Volumes indicate how many shares are bought and sold over in a given period of time. The more active the share, the more higher would be its volume. For example, you decide to buy 100 shares of Amara Raj batteries at Rs. 4 85 and I decide to sell 100 shares of uh, Amara Raj factories at 485 there was so there are prices and quantity match which result in a trade you and I together have created a volume of 100 shares many people tend to assume volume count at 200 100 buys plus 100 sells which are not the right which is not the right way to look at volumes so here is a fictitious example um, so uh, this is a fictitious example that uh, should help you understand how volumes add up on a typical trading day at 9.30 am, there are 400 shares exchanged at price Rs. 62.20 and a uh, year later, 500 shares are traded at 62.75. At 10.30 am, if you were to check the total trade for the day, it would be 900, 400 plus 500. Likewise, 300 shares at 16.10 were traded at 11.30 am and up to 11.30 am the trade was 12.50 400 plus 500 plus 350 so on and so forth uh, here is another screenshot from the live uh, market highlight the volume for some of the shares the screenshot was taken around 2 55 pm on 5th of august 2014 if you notice the volume of cumin's india uh, limited is 12 lakh 737 shares likewise the volume on Nokri Info Edge India Limited is 85,427 shares. The volume information that you can see uh, here is the cumulative volume. Meaning at 2.55 pm, a total of 12,72,000 737 shares of cumins were traded at various price points ranging from 634.90 low and 689.85 high. With 35 minutes left for the market to close, it is only logical to expect the volumes to increase. Assuming traders continue to trade the stock for the rest of the day in fact here is another screenshot taken at 3 30 pm for the same set of shares with volume highlighted as you can see the volume for cumin india limited has increased from 12,72,737 to 13,4,47 736 Therefore, for Cummins India, the volume for the day is 13,449,736 shares. The volume for Nokri has increased from 85,427 to 86,712. 
making eighty six seven one two shares as the volume for the day. You need to know that volume shown here are cumulative. So coming to the first topic, the volume trend table. Volume information on its own is quite useless. For example, you know that the volume on Cumin India was thirteen lakhs forty nine thousand seven thirty six shares. So how useful is this information? Who read in isolation? If you think about it, it has no merit, and hence it would actually mean nothing. However, when you associate today's volume information with the preceding price and volume trade, volume information becomes very useful. So the table shown here, you will find a summary of how to use volume information. The first line in the table says when the price increases along with an increase in volume the expectation is bullish before we understand the table above in detail think about this we are talking about an increase in volume what do you, what does this actually mean what is the reference point should i be an uh increase over the previous day volume number or the previous week's aggregate volume as a practice trader usually compare today's volume over the average of last 10 days volume generally the rule of thumb is as a uh, high volume is equal to today's volume greater than last 10 days average volume low volume is equal to today's volume less than last 10 days average volume average volume is equal to today's volume equals to last day average volume to get the last 10 day average all you need to do is draw a moving average line on the volume bar and the job is done of course we will discuss this moving average in the upcoming chapters the chart here shows you can see the volume are represented by blue bars uh, as the as you can see in the below chart the red line overlaid on the volume bar indicates the 10 day average as you notice all the volume bars that are over and above the 10 day average can be considered as the increased volume where some institutional activity has taken place keep this perspective in mind i would suggest you now look at the volume price table now let's move to the second topic the thought process behind the volume trend table when institutional investors buy or sell they obviously do not transact in small chunks for example think about india's lic they are one of the india's biggest domestic institutional investors if they would buy shares of cumin india what would you think uh, they buy 500 shares obviously not they would probably buy 5 lakh shares or even more if they were to buy 5 lakh shares from the open market it would start reflecting in volumes beside because they are buying a large chunk of shares the share price also tend to go up usually institutional money is referred to as smart money it is perceived that smart money always make wiser moves in the market than retail traders hence following the smart money seems like a wise idea if both price and volume are increasing this uh, only means one thing a big player is showing interest in the stock going by the assumption that smart money always makes smart choices the expectation turns bullish and hence one should look at buying opportunity in the stock 
or as a uh, culinary whenever you decide to buy ensure that the volume are substantial this means that you are buying along with the smart money this is uh, exactly what the first in the volume trend table indicate expectation turns bullish when both price and volume increase when you think uh, what what do you think when uh, the price increase but the volume decrease as indicated in the second row think about the following terms why is the price increasing because market participants are buying think about the second question are there any institutional buyers associated with the price increase not likely how would you know there is no meaningful purchase by institutional investor simple if they were buying then the volume would have increased and not decreased so what does a price increase associated by decreasing volumes indicate it means that uh, that the price is increasing because of small retail participation and not really influential buying hence it would help if you were cautious as this would be a possible bull trap going forward the third row says a decrease in price along with an increase in volume set a bearish expectation what do you think so uh, why do you think so a price decrease indicate the market participants are selling the stock increase in volume indicate the presence of smart money both events occurring together decrease in price plus increase in volume imply the smart money is selling stock going by the assumption that smart money always makes smart choices the expectation is bearish and hence one should look at selling opportunity in the market or a culinary whenever you decide to sell ensure the volume are, volumes are good this means that you too are selling along with the smart money moving forward what do you think happens when both volume and price decrease as indicated in the fourth um row think about it in the following term why is the price decreasing because market participants are selling are there any institutional sellers associated with the price decrease not likely how would you think these are meaning, meaningful sell order by institutional investor simply if you were selling the volume would increase and not decrease so how would you infer a decline in price and a decline in volume it means that price decrease because of small retail participant and not really influential red as smart money selling hence it would help if you were cautious as this would be a possible bear trap now coming to the third point revisiting the checklist let us revisit the checklist and evaluate from the perspective of the volume imagine this hypothetical technical situation in a stock the occurrence of a bullish engulfing pattern this suggest a long trade for reasons discussed previously a support level around the low of bullish engulfing support indicative uh, support indicates demand therefore the occurrence of a bullish engulfing pattern near the support area suggests there is indeed a strong demand in the stock and hence the traders will look at buying the stock with a recognizable candlestick pattern and support near the stop loss the trader get a double clarification to go long now along with support near the low imagine high volumes on the second day of the bullish engulfing pattern that is p2 blue candle what can you infer from this 
the inference is quite clear high volumes and a price increase confirm that large influential market participants are positioning themselves to buy the stock with all three independent verticals that is candlestick snr volume suggest taking the same action to go long if you realize this is a triple confirmation i want to drive across the fact that volumes are compelling as it help the trader confirm a trade for this reason it is an important factor and therefore must be included in the checklist here is how the updated checklist now stands the stock should form a recognizable candlestick pattern snr should confirm the trade the stop loss should be around snr for a long trade the low of the pattern should be around the support for a short trade the high of the pattern should be around the resistance volume should confirm to trade presence of above average volume on both buy and sell day low volumes are not encouraging and hence to feel free to hesitate to take a trade where the volumes are low so the key takeaways from this chapter are volumes are used to confirm a trade 100 shares buy and 100 shares sell the total volume 100 not 200 the end of the day volume indicate the cumulative volume across trade executed throughout the day high volume indicate the presence of the smart money low money indicate retail participation when you initiate a trade to either go long or short always make sure if volume confirm avoid trade on low volume day this is all about today's video on volumes i hope you gained a lot of knowledge if you did please did uh, please do like this video subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye bye